the latest word that we have from Thai police, even though we're monitoring another press conference that's happening right now, is that they're saying this wave of explosions are not acts of terror, but local sabotage. Uh, the Thai deputy police spokesman says that there's no evidence that this is linked at all to international terrorism. Oh, in all, there have been 11 bombings across five provinces since Thursday. At least four people have been killed and 34 wounded. Now, let's map it out where these blasts took place, including some major tourist destinations. The highest number of casualties has been in the coastal resort of Hua Hin. Two explosions there on Thursday evening, an additional two blasts on Friday morning. Now, last night, 21 people were wounded, many of them foreign visitors, and we've learned these visitors include citizens of Italy, Germany, the Netherlands, and Austria. A Thai national was killed. Uh, this morning, two more bombs went off at 9 a.m. in Hua Hin near the clock tower. One person is dead. Now, hours ago, we heard from the Hua Hin district chief about the investigation. Let's listen to the soundbite. At this time, we are not certain if there are still bombs remaining in some areas in Hua Hin or if there will be other situations from now. We are now evaluating all the clues which we will discuss with security agencies at 2 p.m. So a lot of fear and concern that there could be some bombs remaining in the area there in Hua Hin. Meanwhile, in Phuket, the popular tourist island, two blasts took place there Friday morning, one at Patong Beach, very popular among tourists. Also another one at Bangla Street, one person was injured. Uh, Suratani City, two explosions there Friday morning. The fatality was a Thai woman. There were additional explosions um, at the uh, Pangna province and in Trung province, which killed one person. It is not known, Max, if all these bombings are connected. The timing is interesting because all of this is taking place one week before the one-year anniversary of the bomb attack at the Irwin Shrine in Bangkok. But Thai police are saying that the latest bombings are not linked to last year's attack. Back to you. Uh, but uh, yeah, they have to take precautions, don't they? So what sort of security response are you seeing there in Thailand? Yeah, as you just heard from uh, the police spokesperson there in Hua Hin, uh, police are on patrol in all places that have been affected, looking at for additional explosive devices. We also have heard from the Thai Department of the Interior Ministry that they've added extra security to public transportation systems or stations in addition to um, tourist hotspots. We've also received um, travel advisories from various governments, the UK, Spain, the US, all advising tourists um, and citizens of those nations to stay away from public areas. We also received a copy of a note from the Hilton Hotel in Hua Hin saying that the markets there have been closed and advising everyone to stay away from crowded public areas.